around it, I'm sure, very well. Um, um, Nito has, you know, he has the Ryu. Yeah, Ryu is. He has the Ryu. Uh, sorry to cut you off, but he has the Ryu to um, for the the Shaku uh, Fireball. If he is feeling like he's not winning the uh, close range or getting in close range enough, he'll go for the better Fireball, or he'll go for the Ken for you know the more explosive combos. And of course, he's been working on a Kazuya, so we could be seeing that as well. But T3 Dom also, I've seen him play on his stream uh, many times Kazuya, so he's very familiar uh, with the Kazuya Richter matchup. I today he was saying how it was very abysmal for Kazuya. Yeah, Kazuya is not that good of a character to play against, you know, super hyper range characters, especially against Villager and, you know, kind of mid range ish against uh, the Belmonts as, uh, as well. But you can kind of see over here Kazuya. The good thing about Kazuya is he's able to have that reflector. And actually, I know Kles, and he basically says Terry is basically Aerial Luigi. If you get if you get them with like a Nair Nair like Nair Nair like forward air or something like that, mainly with Nairs, you're, you could burn yeah. knuckle them and yeah. just kill them super early off stage. But Nairs are very strong air to air and crack shoot goes to projectiles where we're gonna be see the try gonna be seeing the tried and true Ken from Nito. Um, excited to see uh, how this is gonna play out with the projectiles and on a big stage like Town and City. Uh, both of them just kind of weaving in and out. Hadoken uses that uh, sliding to uh, get underneath uh, the Hadoken. Yeah, you can kind of see right now, uh, Tom playing really slow right now, trying to not let Nito get in at all. And Nito trying to utilize his dash speed, his, his run-ins. But again, you can't really run in against uh, the Belmonts at all. You have to always walk in, and you know their walking speed super, super slow. Almost gets them, it gets them with the back air, though. Yeah, and Dom here has a range advantage, keeping him into the corner. Four tilt, trying to punish something very strong down air from Nito to Clank there, but not getting much more off of it. It's going to be so difficult to get off the ledge as a as a Shoto against a, you know an onslaught projectile such as uh, Richter. Yeah, so the one weakness I feel that you know it gets subverted because he's playing against the Belmonts is that he doesn't have to worry about uh, T3 going out and edge guarding him with his side B because that's such a slow move to hit, but at the same time, he doesn't really need to go off an edge guard. He just sits there, waits, and then hits him with the forward tilt. 198 already on Nito. It's so hard to get in. Yeah, I mean, that was for the past 30 seconds to a minute has been all Dom just really pushing his advantage, uh, keeping uh, Nito in the corner. Yeah, oh, unfortunately, a miss input actually and catches him with a small, pretty good 50% combo. Oh, wow. The Bounce on that Holy Flame is going to punish him for going for a Tachimaki there. Holy going for a jab, he wants a short Yuken or some sort of, maybe like a down air conversion. And you can kind of see super well how Dom realized that and went out went out a little bit too far to for uh, for Nito to converse, to converse off that. Oh, oh he, he went for a short Yuken, but got caught with that down beat from, uh, from Dom. Yeah, fantastic parry on the down tilt because usually nine times out of ten after a pretty laggy move, you can get really good combo conversions off of down tilt and the up tilt from uh, the Shotos. Ooh, that was scary to land so close to Nito, but that back air is going to be able to take it. And it looks so rough to deal with this matchup. The onslaught of range, but finding Ooh. the air air into the shore, you can uh, get the kill there. Now, here, you know, it's going to be difficult uh, for Nito to come back if uh, Dom makes these very strong defensive options. But Nito is definitely doable for him. Finding a shore, you can combo there, 36%. Tatsumaki for um, that percent, but an immediate uh, dash attack or down tilt from Dom to get him back in the corner. Yeah, you could really see right now Dom oppressing Nito with all his abilities, with all his special moves, and you can kind of see right now what is what can Nito do against this? He's trying to swing for the hills right now with that F smash, but you know you have to play really slow against Dom to try to get in. You can't be using your dashes too much. You have to be walking forward, walking up, shielding. But that's not something you could really afford with the Shotos. You have to get in there as fast as possible. Forward air sending him back off stage. I mean, this is where the story of the match has been so far. Just if Nito's able to make it out of the corner, going for a very committal down air there, jabbing, but pulling a little bit too early, not able to punish that uh, air dodge back to the stage. Tatsumaki into the down tilt, Hadoken for some percent. Yep, just uh, trying to find maybe a hit below the ledge there or something to convert into a shore you can or a kill. But here, I mean, Nito has such a mountain to climb. And oh, that was sick, dude. Yeah. The, the the cross to punish him trying to run up and forward air him, and then boom, up air. Yep. It's, it's super tricky because when you think that you have 
the Belmonts in disadvantage, they're just like, nah, homie, yeah. I'm going to hit you with that. You, di you didn't even see this cross coming from a mile away. I just spawned it in. It's, it's one of those things like you have to be so aware of because of the reversal opportunities off of cross. Uh, cross coming back sends into a very good angle for uh, Belmonts to kind of swatch you out from the pop-up pop up effect for mid. And there, Dom having the awareness saying, I know my uh, um, cross is going to be coming back soon and I'm going to be ready to go for it. And he was very ready. And he, yeah, okay, Nito going Kazuya here. Yeah, the very reflector on deck now is going to maybe help him. Um, he is able to do the wave dash on, or whatever, the crouch dash. I yeah. think to get through like the axe, I'm not sure about the cross. Though. He, he could actually get through everything with that because it's uh, full body invincibility, I believe. But again, it, it takes a lot of, you know, time oh, to, to electric work. Nair? Ooh, oh, we got this. Oh, what a mix up. Now he's just going for the, the pistons there to find a conversion. Yeah, but I, I feel like Kazuya, once he gets those openings and stuff, he has to converge off a kill every single time. Right now, he's sitting on the ledge. Fantastic wait, waiting for that fire to just end, but unfortunately, gets air to air. And let's Back see. Off stage. Ooh, the forward smash hitting below the ledge. Very deceptive looking. It didn't even look like it really hit there, but Nito kept it relatively close, 74%, but Dom with an open up, missing the falling up air to punish that uh, holy water connection. And Oh, the cross comes back a little bit too slow than uh, than anticipated, and oh. almost catches him with that with that down smash. Yeah, Nito's just kind of swinging here. I think he's wanting some of these electrics, but not able to find any of them. And so far, it's been all Dom. So the weird the weird thing about this matchup is you can kind of see a lot of the times when Dom dash attacks or when he nares because he has that tough guyish type of armor that actually doesn't really affect him that much. But right now we have the Rage Art on deck, but gets forwarder for his troubles trying to land on stage. It's so hard for Kazuya to come back off the you know out of the sky. Fantastic backer though. Yeah, I mean the jump squad is difficult for him to be able to jump over certain things, but you know it's very doable for Kazuya down throw. Uh, piston, Ooh, jab, the, piston, the reset. back air 79%. Oh, hits him with the first hit of down tilt, but nothing just yet. Now now it's back to neutral. Nito needing to try to get back in there. But you can kind of see the power of Kazuya. Fantastic jabs to get him off stage. 98%. This could be a kill. Fantastic roll, but. Uh, gets yeah, Dom's back into the advantage state here, getting called out on the aggression. Nito has to find his way off the ledge here, but it's been so difficult to do it. Very good jump from the ledge to jump over the holy water, but it's just difficult. I mean, what are you supposed to do here? <laughs> Dude, you cannot play the it's game. It's a bullet I, hell. I, I will play the game. Have you ever heard of Toho? Oh, oh this fantastic. is awful. Yo, he has the rage right though. Grab him. Grab him right now. Uh, nothing just yet. Up tilt. Wow, Demon Scissors breaking oh, through that. Dude. Demon Scissors going through the axe, finding the up smash. Very doable with Rage Drive. That's a free 41%. And uh, yeah, no went for the forward air on that. And uh, hitting below the ledge. But you don't have a chance here, but it's a very slim one at that. Four throw, not going to be able to take it. Kazuya's heavy. No uh, Rage Drive, but no. getting punished for the Demon. Uh, Eyes. Devil Gin eyes. Laser? What, I think that's what it's called. I'm not too sure, but... Dude, yeah, I just, I just saw that Leer, dude. It's, it's a Pokemon move yeah, right yeah. now. It's, it's so, like, situational that you usually use that as a recovery option to be all like,